Hi guys, I'm Ann Sophie Brieger with Sago Sago. Now, Sago Sago, last year, the few of you that I did meet, we were with Zinc Row, and we were very, very close to a new partnership. So we took Zinc Row, and we joined forces with Toka Boca. We're now Toka Boca's little sister, Sago Sago. And um, we launched our first apps in May. We have five apps in the app store, and we have over two million downloads. Um, Aaron Layton is our creative director and our illustrator, and it's always a joy to bring the people that actually make the stuff to these conferences. Um, so if you have any questions about character design, about the worlds that are in our apps, um, even some of the goofy ideas that come up for the animations, um, Aaron's the person to chat with. So we just wanted to show you our latest app, which we'll launch in the store in December. Um, a lot of our apps that we develop, we look at play patterns. So what are kids doing with toys and how can we translate that to an app? So with our Soundbox app, it was very much like a rattle. In the case of music, it is very much like a music box. And the idea is that the character is going on a journey. <laughs> we have two at this point. Uh, the, other, the other world is a candy, uh, candy island. So you go from the tropics to the Arctic, 
And there's an ice cream castle at the end. And the audience is, I mean, our apps, um, two to five, two to five year olds. Um, we get, you know, obviously six, six, seven, eight year olds playing with them, but the majority of the year. Uh, lasers? You guys like to oh, wave in your company? Yeah. I just was wondering what the variables are in playing it. I mean, do I have any control of the inevitable outcome, or you know, does, the, does the kitty maybe not make it sometimes? To, Why are you know, doing that, uh, Scott? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize we're up there. Oh, very nice. Uh, 8.5 median, maybe? I say 8.3. <laughs> Sorry, Richard, do you want to repeat the, the question? Yeah, I'm just wondering in the storyline, um, does the kitty always get, I think it was a kitty, wasn't it? Yeah, it's Ginger the Cat, yeah. Does the kitty always make it? I mean, is there any variables? If I don't play correctly, can the kitty crash? No, you can't make any mistakes. Uh, basically, you, you, we want to give the kid the chance to create the landscape based on a, like a, very rough landscape that we drop in and then the kid can populate it. And so there's no right or wrong way to do it. But we do have an ending. Um, the cat will be ending with a little vignette eating cheese with the moon mole. So it's not a circular pattern. It is, there is a beginning and a finish. But that's the way to be. What's that? I was worried about the cat. <laughs> oh, she always makes it. She's always fine. <laughs> what Piagetti?